The students' project and artworks drew me to Mass Art and Dynamic Media Institute. They made me believe that I could come to DMI with an idea and learn in an interdisciplinary environment. My thesis project, Gamelon 2.0, was inspired by my own experience playing in a Javanese gamelan ensemble, featuring gongs, xylophones, drums, and string instruments. Gamelon 2.0 offers a new approach to play the traditional Javanese gamelan through the digital domain. This platform allows simultaneous translation from sound to the visual. Bing's own experience as a musician in the gamelan ensemble became the core concept of her thesis, eventually entitled Sonic Scenery. It's about a relationship of the domain of sound and the domain of vision. She created a very complex system which works in the background. Her audiences do not know that there is such a complexity of the system. Eventually, what the audience experiences is to play gamelan music without knowledge or expertise of doing such things. That was a beautiful thing to explore with Bing, those wide horizons when she contextualized her work in history of art, history of cinema, especially in the work of uh, Oscar Fischinger, uh, one of those uh, uh, artists she explored. The design process of my thesis project consists of two parts. First, I created the physical gamelan interface that triggers the sound samples. Using the laser color at MassArt, I built prototypes using plywood and acrylic. What was really fun about working with Bing was that um, she came to me with the um, idea of creating this digital gamelan system. And at first we were thinking about building the whole thing from scratch, about um, using an Arduino and about um, building sensors. And we kind of worked through that process and got it to work. And then we realized that there were some limits and kind of um, that things weren't behaving right, that there's something about the way professional engineers build musical interfaces. And so then we kind of switched and started using um, a uh, MIDI device. And then, then the problem became more of a graphic design and a user, user experience issue because then she had to figure out what kind of box to make that would hold her instrument and what kind of gesture people were going to use to play it. Um, and then she also, in the middle of that, we also added in the visual component, which um, turned out to be really important to her because she wanted this um, thing she was constructing to be peaceful and soothing. Next, I experimented with the visual representation of the gamelan sound. These two parts of the process, connecting coherently, create the whole experience. After graduation, I'm hoping to build more gamelan digital instruments and project the light in a larger space to bring about a richer experience. I'm grateful to be part of the mass art community and the DMI family. I want to thank everyone for your help and support.